All right, uh, we've been talking about it uh, the last couple of days. We could be seeing some snow. Yes, we can. So let's get the latest from Monty Quinn. I know it's still early, but I love talking about this. Yeah, listen, I'm on board with you there. I, I know a lot of you folks at home are not sharing my enthusiasm, but guys, it's January. I love a good snowstorm. This is looking like it'll put sizable numbers down for portions of our area. So let me try to make some sense of the way I see this playing out. And you can take this and... Well, digest it for yourself. 43 was the high today, 34 was your low. Little bit above average in both those categories. So what do we expect? It is going to be cold during the overnight hours. Look at that. Could be a couple of flurries out there. We showed you this earlier in the newscast. Not going to be too much of anything, but a couple of flurries out there. We are eyeing a bigger storm Saturday late into Sunday. The track is not locked in. If it pushes inland, we see a lot more rain around New York City. If it pushes offshore, well, we see more snow in New York City. And lo and behold, there's another storm right behind us on Tuesday. But this storm for next Tuesday looks to be locked in as far as rain. It's going to be just rain. So there could be some problems for places that pick up, you know, some sizable snow. You put rain on top of that. And, yeah, some issues with drains getting clogged, things like that. We have been snow starved around here. It has been almost 700 days, 689 to be exact. The last time that we had at least an inch of snowfall. And the last time that you saw an inch or more was February 13th, 2022. Not 2023. 2022, you got to go back for 1.6 inches. What do we see this particular storm? European is suggesting 1.1. All right, they see the storm uh, making a push more inland. It's sort of hugging the coastline, giving us a lot of rain in that wintry mix, but some snow, 1.1. GFS, however, and this just changed. If you were with me earlier, earlier in this newscast, they were suggesting 3.3. They're now up to 5.5. They see it now going a little bit more offshore. It's a bigger snowmaker for us. Outside of the city, the GFS is suggesting Monticello sees an 8.1, uh, an 8.3 around Poughkeepsie. See those little flashes of purple right there would be a, a, a foot or more. You see a little bit more of that with the European, but again, it's inland. It's well north of our area. A 10.2 in Albany, 10.7 Hanover, New Hampshire, 11.2 in Keene in our area, an 8.3 Monticello, five inches Poughkeepsie, a 1.1 in New York City, the Jersey Shore. They see this really just all rain because again, little close to our uh, our shoreline and not far enough out to sea. So the bottom line is the tri-state is going to get an impact from this system late Saturday into Sunday. It's a mixed bag of tricks right now. It's rain, wind, sleet. It's all snow for some folks north of the area. Who sees the most? The northern burbs. North of 84, I feel very confident you're going to see some good snowfall numbers out there. You go north of 287. I think you're talking about two to four inch range. New York City, as of right now, and I just showed you the highs and the lows around there, I think New York City currently stands in maybe that at two inch or less range. The track, it's not finalized. And expect more shifts. I just showed you how the GFS in one hour just went from 3.3 to 5. Point, uh, I think it's like 5.6, right? Well, you get to next week, and that mile there taking hold, that storm I'm watching for Tuesday is going to be a rainmaker. So let's get into all of the numbers here, guys. 44 for Thursday. 38 for Friday. Really no weather worries brewing out there for Thursday or Friday, with the exception of a couple of, of flurries, maybe late Thursday, uh, late or early Thursday morning, that is. Um, it's all about Saturday into Sunday. We've issued the red alert for Saturday night into Sunday. Uh, sizable snow, snowfall, especially north of New York City. But for New York City, right now it is looking more and more and more likely that there's yeah. at least some snow uh, involved with this storm for us, whereas last year we saw no snow for us. Right. Right. Ski area is going to be happy either way, though, right? Yeah. I think it looks at like the ski areas do fine regardless of what track it takes. Right. Okay, that's good news. Thank you, Lonnie. All right.